Uh, I'm Dr. Satyajit Das. I'm a neurosurgeon and spine surgeon. Uh, today I would like to discuss a few important points about epilepsy, uh, the disease, its manifestations, its treatment and uh, some ways in which it affects people in our country and also uh, some wrong perceptions that are associated with this disease and that cause a lot of problems in the patient's lifestyle. Uh, to begin with, uh, seizures is primarily a disease of the brain. It happens because the normal, uh, uh, the normal neurological transmissions, the electrical transmissions that take place inside the brain and that, that help in, a, in the normal functioning of the brain are compromised, are, uh, are uh, uh, affected in certain ways. And when they are affected, uh, there are abnormal discharges in the brain that lead to abnormal motor functions or abnormal uh, cognitive changes. And this can lead to uh, obvious things like a generalized tonic-clonic seizures where there are rapid and violent movements of the body associated with frothing from the mouth or passing of urine that most people would be able to identify as, uh, as an epileptic seizure. But there are also subtle seizures which may not be that evident. Uh, this can happen in, in, in terms of uh, absence seizures where a child may be attending a class and for a while they may, be, uh, uh, they may suddenly lose contact with their surroundings and they may have a staring look and uh, then come back to their normal uh, self. But this happens again and again and again and when it happens again and again it leads to some permanent damages in the brain and may lead to slowing down of the cognitive development of the child. There are also other seizures in which uh, a child, may, child or a grown-up person may repeatedly fall down, may lose uh, while walking and, uh, and, and can cause repeated head injuries and injuries of other parts of the bodies. There are also situations in which it is not externally manifest and the patient only has a very subtle sensation of abnormal smell in the mouth or uh, a rising sensation in the abdomen and uh, whatever kind of a seizure it is, it, every time a seizure happens, every time a fit takes place, it is causing some damage to the brain that can lead to some permanent damages and the more this disease is neglected, the more it becomes difficult to treat it later on. In our country, there are a lot of misconceptions associated with this disease. Um, uh, uh, in some, some rural areas, it is still believed that uh, uh, some supernormal activities or some ghostly activities are leading to seizures. And uh, this leads people to take uh, uh, alternative pathways to treat this disease. And usually in such circumstances, these lead to very, uh, very wrong uh, results. So uh, what we, how, how we should deal with seizures? There are, uh, the primary point is the investigation and the treatment of the disease. Investigations obviously uh, is extensive. It is very, very important to localize where the epileptic fit is coming from and how severe it is. And uh, usually the patient needs to undergo some blood tests, some tests of the uh, waveform of the brain in the form of EEG and some imaging like MRI or CT scan of the brain. And um, after these investigations, once we have localized where the seizure is coming from, usually medicines are started. Uh, one or two medications are usually uh, all it takes to cure epilepsy in most cases. In a few cases where it is not being treated by medicines, there are certain surgeries that we can do uh, which can cure the disease or which can reduce the severity of the disease, the frequency of the disease and in some situations it can at least improve the quality of life of the patient and lead to less damage to the patient when these fits are taking place. Uh, the other thing is the lifestyle modifications. It is important that people who are known to have the disease of epilepsy keep an identification tag with them which helps people to uh, recognize uh, the person when he's having fits and take him to the uh, to the relevant place and uh, it is important to keep a date chart to keep a chart where you are mentioning we're keeping a track when seizures are taking place and what kind of seizures are taking place and um, as far as treatment is go, uh, treatment goes, if the correct treatment is instituted, the seizures can be brought down and sometimes after a few years of treatment, the medicines can be stopped altogether. So uh, it is my uh, earnest request to all of you 
that if you do know uh, people who are suffering from epilepsy please encourage them to uh, to to get treated in the right way so that we can reduce the burden of disease the burden of suffering from our society thank you very much